So the Honor View 20 has landed in the Quick Expert Reviews office and I'm absolutely blown away by it. Now, to be honest, this Aurora Nano Texture bag is just like I can play with it all day. To be honest, it's just beautiful the way it looks. Um, okay, so we're gonna start as usual with where everything is located on the handset itself. So let me just open the SIM tray for you. So it's a dual SIM phone. Um, which with the SIM tray located on the right hand side, power button, volume up, volume down on the left, headphone jack and an IR blaster on the top, type C plus one single speaker on the bottom. Now you do also, as you can see, have a fingerprint sensor, a 48 megapixel camera to the left, a TOF 3D camera to the right and then we've got the LED flash. Now I'll explain the TOF system later on. On the front we've got the gorgeous 6.4 inch display with this amazingly cut um, camera to the left. Like literally, <laughs> it's, it's just a beautiful device. As you can see, it's not a stupid notch that obscures half of the screen. It's just a beautifully made a front facing camera, which is by the way, 25 megapixels with an F stop of 2.0. Now, as usual, I'm just going through the features of the phone. So you've got the app lock, which allows you to lock the apps behind the passcode, private space, which allows you to set up a separate space on your phone where you can run your apps, for example. And then you've got the file safe as well, which means that if you'd like to, you can encrypt your photos and videos behind a fingerprint sensor and so on and so on. The phone obviously does support face recognition as well, if you'd like to um, use that. Um, as you can see, it's got digital balance, which means it rooms on Android 9 and you do get 128 gigabytes of internal storage coupled with 6 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, battery 4000 milliampere hours which definitely lasts at least two days and it also supports the supercharge which means that you can actually top up the phone i think it's around 60 70 percent within half an hour and um, so that's that and obviously you do get the charger um, in the box now in terms of the phone itself um i know it's an ips lcd display because obviously Honor had to cut the cost somewhere, but as you can see, there is quite a lot of adjustment that you can adjust in the screen settings. Um, so it works pretty well. I mean, to be honest, the phone has so much built-in features um, that <laughs> I would have to make this video like 20 minutes long at least. Um, apart from what you can see in here, so you get a full HD display, which you can either leave a smart resolution. So when the battery drops, below certain level it will reduce the um, um the screen resolution you can even hide the notch which isn't really a notch um, but yes if you'd like to you can hide that now on top of that obviously the 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 display itself like i said 6.4 inch um is actually really sharp like i was kind of scared that you know with 1080p it's not going to be as sharp as obviously 2k screens or anything like that but it actually does really well um, and it also helps in gaming now that's obviously also a feature of a kirin 980 processor which is exactly the same as in the mate 20 pro um, and they've just put it in the honor view 20 so if honor do does get the price right on the uk market i think we're gonna get a really decent flagship killer now you know you've got a one plus for example which used to be called a flagship killer but now being around five five fifty six hundred pounds it's not really a flagship killer as such anymore Now this was the audio bit which I wanted to show you how uh, the speaker, even though it's a one mono speaker, does a really um, good job of um, you know playing um, audio. On top of that, as it is with the Honor devices, you do get quite a lot of features like for example music party. So if you'd like to, you've got more people with Honor devices, you can create a hotspot which means that you play a song and it plays on up to let's say 15 devices, uh, 12 devices. So that works really well, to be honest. 
So not everyone has to have exactly the same Spotify account or anything like that. On top of that, you get the usual phone call and so on. You even get a wireless projection, which allows you to project the display wirelessly onto the screen, but without mirroring what's on the screen. So you, you like you've got the desktop mode. On. Now, obviously, the highlight of the phone is the 48 megapixel camera, which is AI stabilized. So no optical image stabilization, but AI stabilization. And it does the job really well. Apart from that, you've got standard features of the Honor devices like the aperture and the portrait mode. So the aperture, the portrait mode works really well on humans. The aperture re works really well on um, objects. Um, on top of that, as you can see, there is like a special artist mode with special filters. Now, as it is with uh, my videos at the very end of the video review, you will see the sample pictures as well. But <laughs> to be honest, again, I think they've nailed it really nice. I think the camera is really good. The camera quality is actually really decent. Now, obviously they could have gone with the three times, uh, three lens setup on the back, but to be honest, that 48 megapixel camera setup does its job really well. Now, obviously if you want to, you can also record videos and as it is, um, you get the night mode as well, which means that if you'd like to, and an AR lens, if you'd like to, it helps you stabilize the phone in your hand without using a tripod to capture uh, more light when taking pictures in challenging lighting conditions. Now, on top of that, the portrait mode allows you to slim the person as well when you take a picture and then you've got the AR lens which kind of looks like the emoji on the new iPhone. So for example you can take a picture of yourself and the emoji does um, like you know it, it, it makes the gestures, your face gestures of, of, of the person you are recording. On top of that you've got moving pictures which creates like short videos of a picture that you take in. Um, high vision is actually pretty decent. So you take a picture of um, something, let's say an apple and tells you it's an apple, but it also coupled with the AI helps you um, tell how many calories you've got in that apple or in a banana or anything like that. So um, high vision combined with AI does really, really good job of, uh, you know, helping you out with um, counting calories and stuff like that. On top of obviously saying that an apple is an apple. Uh, but if you, for example, take a uh, pointed at something else, like let's say, um, I don't know, um, a, a monument or something, it will tell you more about that. Now, as it is, you do get a full pro mode as well, and it also works in the videos. Um, so you don't have to buy expensive apps like Filmic Pro for 15 quid if you want to change your white balance or your exposure, lock your exposure value or even change the autofocus, you do get that pre-installed on your phone. And as like I said, the picture quality is absolutely amazing. Like, I mean, even when you zoom in, it's just the level of detail is out of this world. Um, I'm really, really impressed with this device. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed. So I'm gonna obviously do another proper full review when we get a normal um, sellable stock here in UK, but so far, this is actually a contender to my phone of the year and it's just January. So we'll see how it goes. Last year, I think P-Smart was my favorite handset uh, from Huawei. So we'll see how Honor gets um, this year. Now, these are the sample pictures. As I've said, if you'd like to in the description, you do get the full sized uh, link to the Dropbox. So yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye.